sneaking into the underground of our city, stealing party speakers. What? That guy legit does keep coming out, so we're gonna get the hell out of here. And getting the biggest techno DJ to perform at our party. These are all things we have to do today because we are throwing the most epic underground rave ever. We're risking our lives and our freedom to create the most unforgettable experience ever. The first thing we have to do is get some materials. We found some pallets. That wasn't exactly what we were trying to find, but they actually had a bit more wood like right next to it. Problem is, this is inside the dumpster for this apartment complex, and the guy keeps coming in and out. So we're gonna try to be quick with it, but I think this there. Yo, bro, that's perfect. Yo, what? Bro. All right, y'all, we gotta be honest with you. We put all that stuff in there, but I think it was way more interesting than us just going to the store, so. We built the speaker stands and the DJ booth. There was only one thing left to do. I've been to the tunnel rave there before. The setup is sweet and we just sent out our first invite. So now it's time to check out the underground. This is super dangerous. To access the underground, we need to enter through a manhole in the street, which isn't really legal. So not only are we risking our lives, but we can also get arrested. <laughs> it just says sewer, we want could, storm drain. Do you think you can fit that, bro? I think thin. All right, so right now we're on the main strip that has all these manholes. We're just trying to find the best one so we can slip in, slip out, undetected. All oh, right, there. Storm drain. This one's completely exposed, too. Is this storm drain? Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this one's legit. It's not full today. We'll be back for you. Oh, it looks like it, holy <laughs> So if any of those bolts are more than finger tight, like, there's no way we can get into this thing. Well, do you think there's a ladder? Or something, even if we open it? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, we could bring rope and tie it on that if we're gonna do this one. You think this is strong enough? But if we did that, I think only one of us should go down and one of us should stay up top and then seal it. If we have this sewer open and we're both down there as a rope from this fence all the way down there, it's gonna be super blatant to anyone that walks past. It might be a split up and regroup type mission, but we'll worry about that problem when we finish this problem. A socket wrench or something. Damn, we were not prepared for that. We only have a uh, crowbar to pry it open. We don't have a socket set. We've been thwarted. It's almost like they didn't want people to slide into this on accident, <laughs> but it's on purpose. It's no socket set. It's not perfectly fit. It's not a monkey wrench. I think these teeth might be a little bit big the bolt but uh, there's a guy on a lift scooter over there I think we just act like we're workers hey Tom can you come on a ship this Friday this Friday man it's that... supposed to be a date night with the miss I really don't want to hit it that's my kid's birthday I can't miss that again if you come on Friday I'll come here next Tuesday I know you've been trying to take that one off my next Tuesday yeah I'm trying to go to Waterworld on Tuesday all right we clear it straight down. Is there a ladder? No, there's no ladder, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, we can't just leave this thing open. I mean, what are our other options? Put Get a, a rope. rope on that, yeah. We have rope in the car. What do you think? I'm not stoked to go down there. My life is in this knot. That ain't going nowhere. That's not burn daylight. All right, it's go time. It's go time, baby. I'm low key a bit sketched about this. But a Roshi bro always takes the cool way in, so. This is it. There is no turning back now. If a cop were to pull up on us right now, we would both be screwed. We just have to have a little bit of luck for the next 30 seconds. There's so many spider webs, dude. I think I just got to drop this last bit. You all right? Yeah. All right. 
I'm gonna have to see you at the entrance. All right, see you on the other side. That was crazy. He legit just went down in there. All right, guys, I'm literally just down here. It's a team of one. I think Jake's gonna find another entrance, but that's where we came from. And that is where we're going. God damn, look at all this crazy art. There's definitely people down here. All right, so John has the car keys. I was supposed to get in the car and drive over to this entrance that we found and meet him there, but I can't do that. He's got the keys. So now I'm walking over there and the car is locked. I locked it from the inside. So fingers crossed, he has the keys and I didn't, I'm not just a dummy and lose them. Guys, this is legit, like this is freaking. freaking. I'm trying to talk to you guys, but also don't want to be loud in case there's someone else here. Like obviously there's trash, like people hang out with me. Not like normal people, I'm cool people, it's like homeless crazy people. I'm gonna try to explain like, there's almost this humidity. It almost feels like you're kind of getting closed in on all sides, it's like suffocating type feeling. But the closer we get to the exit, the more likely it is we're gonna run into some homeless guy. Decisions, decisions. Eeny, meeny, miny. All right, in the comments, who's left gang, who's right gang? Super slippery, there's all kinds of weird slime on the ground. Ask your grandma about it. I think I'm starting to see a tiny bit of light at the end. Man, that literally scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, but found the exit. Alright, the entrance is down this way. We reconvened, we found John. He was quicker to the punch than I was, but he made it out safe goes to show kids, we're just playing GTA 5. NPCs are doing their own AI coded activity. They don't ask questions when they walk past you. They're too busy doing whatever. Whatever beer. Must get drunk. Must get wasted on Wednesday. <laughs> Must get white girl wasted. <laughs> Where's my pink cowgirl hat? <laughs> that was insane. I thought I was gonna die. We didn't get arrested, but we still need to actually have guests for this party. This is something we never forget, bro. Yeah, the best is yet to come. Well, time to get some sleep. Yeah, get some food and get some sleep. I'm hungry, bro. Bro fished! All right, it's officially the next day, and we gotta start inviting people to this rave. I'm not really sure how we're gonna do that, so the only way we could think of was to make a sign and sign spin. We just got a shipment for our next video, but we can't show you all of it. It's a surprise. This is crazy. I think we pulled up to the right spot. I think the guest the guest list might fill out too fast, bro. Yeah. Our sign was working. As soon as we pulled up to campus, we were swarmed by hungry freshmen wanting to throw down. People were even taking our photos. This is great. We have a full guest list, but we still have a huge problem. We have no DJ. So, who's gonna play the show? We're gonna send some text messages out, try to find someone to do it, but for now we're just gonna set everything up. We really told a lot of people we're gonna do this, so. Yo, Iwaku, I need a massive favor from you, bro. All right, so we got the DJ, we got the setup, we invited everybody. You know, at this point, we've done everything in our control. So if people show up, people don't show up, 
Uh, we're gonna throw this at, it's gonna be absolutely savage. A couple of our friends are showing up. We're gonna have a crazy time down there. It's gonna be sick regardless, you know? The ultimate goal is to create unforgettable moment. And so far, it's been pretty unforgettable, I think. The last thing we have to do before the people show up is set up the speakers and the lights so Yuwaku can throw down tonight. Who is that? Who goes there? This is sick, bro. That's crazy. That's it. Everything is all set up. Now let's go get these party people and have an absolutely unforgettable night. All right, so we sent out the location information about an hour ago and we're walking to the rendezvous point. We have no idea if people are gonna come or not. It's up to chance at this point, but regardless, it's gonna be a good time, bro. We literally spent so long setting this up. If no one shows up, it's gonna be such a bummer. Everybody, yeah. everybody pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Okay, yeah. So, we're about to head out. Uh, when we're down there, it, there's kind of some loose footing leading up to it, so just please, like, please be careful. I don't want anybody busting their ass. But, uh, yeah, let's just go down and have a good time. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Yeah, this is gonna be nuts, nice, bro. Yeah, all right. <laughs> She's cool. Yeah, she's cool. Oh, you guys are sick, dude. Let's go, boys. Yes. Everyone is having a great time, and I can definitely say this is something we'll never forget.